kwa Mungu atawawezesha ili musiweze kusahau. Uh, asante sana dada yangu uh, Dorcas, uh, Pastor Dorcas, Dr. Dorcas uh, Rigadhi. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii kukushukuru sana kwa ajili ya kusimama na taifa letu la Kenya haswa kwa ajili ya kuomba na kuweza kuweka wachungaji pamoja ile uh, muweze kuomba kwa ajili ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. Najua uh, pengine um, utapata nafasi ya kuweza kutusalimia maana na tuna, tungependa kusikia sauti yako. Ama mnasemaje kanisa? Si mungependa kusikia sauti yake? Asante sana. Kwa hivyo Mungu atusaidie na Mungu atujalie. Tunajua kwa tuko um, katika uh, maombi na tuko na ile ambaye tunaita the final push. Kwa sisi kina mama wakati mwingi kama unatarajia mtoto utangojea mpaka mtoto azaliwe. Na mimi nimekuwa nikisema kwamba mtoto wetu wa Kenya alizaliwa tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. Si ni kweli kanisa. Huyu mtoto lakini hajatoka hospitali. This child has not been discharged. Sijui nini naendelea kule hospitali, sijui ni homa imemshika, sijui ni jondis imemshika, lakini tutasukuma, tutaomba hadi huyu mtoto afanye nini? Atoke. Na mkipata nafasi mnaweza kusoma neno la Bwana kutoka kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza uh, mlango wa tatu hapo chini wakati Suleiman alikuwa amepewa alikuwa ameomba na akaambia Mungu kwamba nataka unipatie hekima ili niweze kujua mambo ya kufanya na kuna mama wawili walikuja wakasema kwamba watu walikuwa wamepata watoto na mtoto mmoja alikuwa amelaliwa na mama na akafa na wakaenda kwa mfalme Suleiman wakimuuliza kwamba huyu huyu anasema huyu mtoto ni wangu huyu mwingine anasema ni, ni wangu Suleiman akasema hebu mniletee kisu nikate huyu mtoto Mwa, yule mama mmoja akasema usikate huyu mtoto mwingine akasema kwamba mnaweza kumkata Suleiman akasema huyu mtoto ambaye alikuwa amekufa basi ni wa huyu ambaye anasema mtoto akatwe huyu mtoto ambaye ako hai ni wa huyu mama ambaye anasema mtoto asikatwe sisi tunaona, tunaomba kwamba mtoto wetu asilaliwe akakufa na kusikue na kubadilishwa there is going to be no exchange in the name of Jesus bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo asanteni sana tutakapomaliza hapa tumeandaa uh, lunch kwa kila mmoja wetu pale uh, katika gazibo uh, tukimaliza tutaweza ku uh, naibu wetu wa rais ambaye atakuwa rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya Kenya karibu sana Asanteni sana tafadhali Asanteni sana um, eh, bwana Yesu asifiwe Nataka nichukue nafasi hii niwashukuru ninyi nyote kwa kufika hapa katika chapel hii katika residence ya naibu wa rais um, wa taifa letu la Kenya karibuni sana um, nataka nimshukuru eh, ndugu yetu Kisotu kwa kutunenea neno la Mungu na sote tumefurahi ya kwamba tumepata nafasi hii ya kipekee tuweze kushiriki ibada leo katika chapel hii um, nataka pia niwashukuru ninyi nyote na pia eh, niwashukuru wale wote ambao wametembea pamoja na sisi eh, watu wengi eh, wamekuwa pengine wakishangaa mbona mimi eh, pande zote mbele na nyuma kulia na kushoto ni mambo ya Mungu. Nafikiri mumeona mama wangu. <laughs> e, ni mtu wa kuniombea. E, sister yangu ambaye mimi namfuata. Huyo hapo anaitwa Elizabeth ni pasta. Na, na mke wangu pia ni prayer warrior. So mimi, mimi, sina, mimi sina mahali ya kujificha na neno la <laughs> pande sote eh, so wale wanakathirika na mimi saa zingine na mambo ya Mungu watanisamee tu kwa sababu <laughs> kwa sababu ndio hali ni ndio hali yangu ndio hiyo eh, i really have nowhere to hide kwa mambo ya Mungu 
uh, uh, I'm surrounded by very prayerful people. And that's why I think many a times uh, some people are concerned about my relationship with God. Um, some even accuse me sometimes of being too much Christian. But that is uh, how things are. Nataka pia ni washukuru ninyi nyote na nichukue nafasi hii. Ni washukuru wa Kenya wote. Hii ni Jumapili yetu ya kwanza tangu tuende katika uchaguzi mkuu wa taifa letu la Kenya. Nataka ni washukuru wa Kenya wote. Mamilioni nafikiri milioni kumi na ine ikiongezeka waliojitokeza ili kupiga kura e, tuwe na nafasi ya kuchagua viongozi wetu e, wa miaka mitano inayokuja nataka ni wapongeze wote mliojitokeza mapema na wote waliopiga kura nataka pia ni wapongeze viongozi wote waliochaguliwa katika taifa letu la Kenya um, neno la Mungu linatufundisha katika methali 16 mstari wa 33 kwamba kura hupigwa ili kujua nini itatokezea lakini uamuzi inatoka kwa Mungu so much as we all went to vote the decision the final decision is God's. so um, i want to thank all kenyans who um, came forward to vote on the 9th of august so that we can choose the leaders of our nation for the next five years and i also want to celebrate all the leaders elected in all the parties uh, because as i said we vote but god chooses and every leader who has been chosen uh, in that election there is a purpose for which god has allowed all the leaders who have chosen who have been who have been voted for and god has chosen god has a purpose for our country um, I want to request and ask all of us as uh, the people of Kenya to be patient uh, with the processes that are going on um, at the moment and to pray for the rest of uh, IBC so that they can um, complete this exercise in uh, the manner in which we have voted. We've had a peaceful uh, uh, election moment. We've voted peacefully. We have gone through this process peacefully. And it's my prayer that we end this process peacefully. Because Biblia inasema, Mwisho wa jambo ni bora kuliko mwanzo. So, tunaomba mungu iwe hivyo kwamba mwisho wa hili jambo tulilonalo litakuwa bora kuliko vile tulivyoanza so nataka niwaulize wote eh, ndugu zetu wa Kenya eh, kutoka sehemu zote za taifa letu la Kenya um, wawe wa, na utulivu na uvumilivu ili tuweze kuwapatia wale ambao wanatusaidia ku kamilisha mambo ya eh, kutafuta viongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya nafasi ya kutimiza wajibu wao na vile tumefanya uchaguzi huu kwa amani na kwa kuelewana na kila mtu kujitolea ningeomba ya kwamba hata wakati tunakamilisha tukamilishe katika hali hiyo ya amani na kuelewana na tuendelee mbele kama taifa sote tukisherehekea uraia wetu kama watu wa taifa letu la Kenya um, and, and to all of us 
as I have said, we celebrate all our leaders that have been elected so far, and we want to wait patiently, peacefully, for the next few um, uh, moments as we wait for the conclusion of the election process. I want to ask every Kenyan, wherever we are, to know that, yes, we have voted, but it is God who chooses. And uh, we will have the leaders that will take our country uh, to the next level. So, asanteni sana uh, to all of you who have come uh, this, uh, this morning and afternoon for this service. We wish you well, everybody, each and every, each, each and every one of us. Um, and uh, I want to thank uh, uh, members of my family and my friends who made it to this service. Uh, and we look forward to better moments ahead. So, Asanteni Sana, I think I will conclude by requesting uh, Pastor Dokas to come and say the final prayer. Um, as uh, somebody has predicted, maybe she, she will take over as the pastor here. <laughs> Asante Sana. Mama wetu ambaye ametupatia kiongozi president wa tano wa taifa ya Jamhuri ya Kenya tumpigie makofi kwa mambo ombi yako mengi tunakushukuru na familia yako kwa vile mumetuleta hapa ndio tuweze na kushukuru Mungu His Excellency, the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Mutoto wa Mama William. <laughs> and Her Excellency, Rachel Ruto, and Wale Wate Mungu Ametuletea, and the waiting deputy president. You know, the Bible says, Anabibiria katika Mathayo, Ishirini na moja, Muhari, Mstari wa Albaini, Nambiri na Sema. Amudajua maandiko vile imesema. Yesu wakauliza. Akasema, adhile jiwe, ambao, Wajensi, walirikata, Wakaliangalia, wakaona harina haja, Wakalitupa. Ndiyo mungu amerifanya kuwa jue la kona ambaya ditashikiria nyumba. Tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuabudu na kushukuru na kuinua. Kwa sababu wewe ni mungu kutoka mwanzo mbaka mwisho. Wewe ni alfa na wewe ni omega. Tunajua baba wewe ndiyo unatujua kwa jina. Na baba utumetubariki na kile chote umebariki kimebarikika kweli. Na ndiyo tukisimama katika haya mabahu tunakushukuru na kusema ni asanti. Kwa ile njia yote umetutembeza bwana na mkono wako ukatushikiria. Na tuko hapa tukisema ni asanti kwa sababu ata pale tunaenda. Tukisema wewe ni ebeneza leo ata kesho wewe utatufikisha mahali ambapo uliagana na sisi. Mungu wa agano tunakuambia ni asanti. Mungu wa neema tunasema ni asanti. Tumechagua kuja kwa madhabahu kwa sababu sisi tunajua ya kwamba wewe ndio tu unaweza kutusaidia wewe ndio usaidizi wetu na roho wako ako kati yetu bwana na tunaikuinua tukijua wewe bwana ndio umetupatia ushindi tunakuinua kwa sababu yewe ulisema na umesema na umekubali kwa sababu wewe ndio Mungu ambaye ajaumbwa na mikono ya watu 
wewe ndio Mungu kutoka mwanzo mpaka mwisho na tukikuinua kwa madhabu au haya tunasema ni asante kwa wale umetuchagulia tayari na wanajua na wako katika kikao hiki pokea shukrani zetu bwana na yale yamebaki baba you are the one who gives speed we pray for the IBC o oh god and we cover them by the blood of jesus at this hour we pray as we are still to see your salvation and your deliverance baba utatupatia ushindi na ni katika jina la yesu tumeomba na kuamini Good tusimame tuimbe hiyo pamoja tumejifunza kwenda na pesa yake. <laughs> uh, basi tumefika tamati ya ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Na kwa hivyo nimeshukuru kwa niaba ya madhabahu hii ya kitaifa ambaye patron wetu ni Her Excellency mama yetu Recho. Nasema asanteni na kama vile alivyosema baada ya hii tutakuwa pale pamoja. Na ninaomba tu tena tuinue mikono yetu kwa dakika moja tu na uliza His Excellency 
wote wanne tusimame tu hapa alafu tunyoshe mikono tuwatakie mema tunapomalizia ibada yetu tu hapa naomba tuko unyenyekevu tusimame hapa kidogo Both, all of you tuinue mikono yetu uh, jamii na viongozi tunapo nena baraka katika maisha yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante sana so in Jesus name tumenena baraka na ushindi wa Mungu na tunapoondoka siku ya leo kwa hii madhabahu tumeona Mungu ukijibu maombi tumeona ukitenda makuu kwa hii madhabahu na tunajua utaendelea kutenda na tunakuuliza Mungu wetu na baba yetu ya kwamba watumishi wako hawa wanapoenda kuchukua hiyo kamba hii madhabahu itawatetea milele hii madhabahu itawalinda hii madhabahu itawahifadhi na hii madhabahu itaonekana katika maisha yao na hata taifa letu hivyo basi tunawabariki katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu god bless you and all the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen amen Okay, God bless you. Have a wonderful time.